Well, you're getting into a political situation here now that would be better uh, addressed by members of the State Department. I need only uh, repeat here uh, that everybody, the people that are quick to jump to that angle of criticism, and some people have, have uh, some of the doomsayers are crying out loud, and in fact, some of the main ones that said we should have done this long time ago are now saying we're in brinksmanship. Uh, but they should remember that uh, our commander-in-chief is acting in reaction to an action that was started by the other side, and that is the invasion of South Vietnam. Do you feel we'll get our POWs back? I certainly hope so. I think this is the strongest move that has been made to date to get them back, and if anything will work, this will work if the other side is smart or humanitarian or a little bit of both, which I hope they are. General James. Phil, uh, we had new people come into the precinct convention this time, uh, and the Wallace and McGovern people elected their own chairman, therefore kicking out uh, our precinct chairman in many instances who was used to reporting the results of the precinct convention. It then becomes the duty of whoever Wallace and McGovern elected uh, as chairman of the convention to make out the minutes of the meeting and file the minutes and the list of delegates uh, with county clerk. About 25% of them just haven't done that. Now, they have three days and, uh, after the convention to do it, but uh, our party people usually get them in on the day of the election. But these folks uh, are taking all the time allowed them, and some of them, uh, it looks like, may not get them in on time. Now, the unfortunate part is, not only will the chairman not get to go to the convention, uh, but the delegates won't be counted either. If they don't get those... Uh, uh, minutes and the list of delegates filed in accordance with the provisions of the statute, they might as well not have won the convention. Apparently, the Dallas city government still believes that it can pick and choose the laws it will obey and ignore the rest. The city's maternity leave is still in violation of federal guidelines. The city has taken no steps toward improving the ratio of women in those areas in which they are underutilized, particularly administrative positions and blue-collar jobs. And women are still excluded from firefighting and police patrol. Therefore, this morning, we have filed a charge of sex discrimination against the city of Dallas with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. For tomorrow afternoon at 3.30, at that time, we can then move forward officially on this bid. Are you saying then that you haven't talked with anybody about the job? Well, I don't want to lead to any speculation about, uh, uh, about that position. I have not been approached by anyone for that job, and to my knowledge, I have, I'm not under consideration for that job. Uh, so uh, I, I'd like to dispel any rumors uh, that are going around that I'm in hot contention for that position. If I am, I'm not aware of it. improved player. His uh, record the last three or four weeks has been a little bit up and down. He probably hasn't played quite as well as he would like. Maybe we could all say that. I haven't played as well as I would like to. But uh, Bob is a type of player that's very aggressive. He hits the ball hard. He has uh, very solid ground strokes, forehand and backhand. My record against him is uh, fairly good. I've beaten him um, the two times that we have played in tournaments and um, I feel that uh, you know, he's tough, but that uh, since I have beaten him, I can beat him again. 
What kind of a match will it be? Well, it's, uh, I'll probably use a little different strategy against them than other players. Uh, instead of volleying deep, I'll be angling my volleys, and since it is a three out of five set match, I'll probably be lobbing more, and uh, since he is a bit older than me, I hope he will tire before I will, and uh, so I'll try and make use of that and make him run. I've got a pretty good chance, I think. Uh, of course, we've all played each other before. Uh, we've all beaten each other before. And we've all lost to each other before, I suppose. Uh, I think my form uh, has uh, has room for improvement at the moment. Uh, I, my matches the last two or three weeks haven't been that, that good. Uh, so I'm looking forward to kind of settling into the conditions of play here at the SMU. And uh, there's no reason why I shouldn't... Uh, do as well as I did last year. I, I feel well physically and I'm looking forward to the matches. Uh, the, the conclusion of the matches here, we're all taking a bit of a rest, so uh, I'm going back to my family in Sydney, Australia. So I can look forward to playing some good tennis here and I, I think I have a good chance of winning. I got respect for him, but uh, I don't really look at, at this man saying, well, this is... Uh, Joe somebody or Cleveland Williams, uh, he's big and strong and he can hit. I don't even look at it that way, Jerry. Uh, I look at this thing from my own viewpoint. I I've trained hard, I work hard. My own attitude is that I'm going to punch and win, and I don't need to worry about the other man because I'm the one that controls this fight. Uh, in my book, there's only two ways a man can lose it if he dies or gives up. So I'm the key to the win, not him. Uh, as long as I keep punching, as long as I want to win, I will win. I think I would like to get on the team that Reeves is not on. I heard he is a tough, you know, tough competitor. And um, out here when we play our tough touch football games on Tuesday, he's, you know, really, uh, he wants to win all the time, you know. So I think I better be on the opposite team that he's on. Maybe they'll make a rule making the center eligible for a pass. Now, you are a defensive man. Uh, still the thoughts of lingering, uh, probably linger in your mind of, but catching one long one at Texas Stadium, do they not? Yeah, catching the long one or running a, a couple of long ones too. You know, I, I think all defensive players, you know, want to do that, and I guess this will be a, a most opportune time for us to do it. Well, we hope we see you cross the goal line then with a pigskin clutched tightly in your right arm. Yeah, I think I'll spike it if I do. <laughs> come to the conclusion that James Jennings uh, should be the president of the school board for the year 1972-73 or the year that uh, starts tomorrow. Would you say that James Jennings is the swing man on that nine-man board as to whether or not John Plath Green gets re-elected? The way I say it, you're absolutely correct. I have, uh, to my knowledge, not been considered for that job, and I am happy in Dallas, as I've reported before, and I intend to stay in Dallas. And uh, the only comment I have at this point is that uh, I have some goals that I want to achieve as chief of police in Dallas, and, and I certainly intend to be around to see those uh, goals uh, finally achieved.
And I personally feel at this time that with only one year of experience on the school board that I really feel that I'm not qualified to take on that responsibility at this time. And for that reason, I do not believe that I could vote for myself. And uh, I think my choice for president for another year would be John Plath Green. Would you then accept a vice presidency under Mr. Green? Well, certainly I would consider this. I don't think that the time is involved for the vice presidency as the president's office uh, is, or the responsibility is not there. So certainly I would consider the vice presidency if I'm nominated for that position.